What's the right order to add pool chemicals? Adding chemicals in the proper sequence will help you avoid wasting time and money. So here's the right order to add chemicals to your pool. Let's dive in. Real quick, we have a free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. Be sure to grab this free guide that covers everything that you need to know about adding chemicals to your water. Before you add any pool chemicals, be sure to test your water. You'll want to test for the following levels. pH, which should be between 7.4 to 7.6. Total alkalinity, which should be between 100 and 150 parts per million. Free available chlorine, which should be between 1 to 3 parts per million, with 3 parts per million being ideal. Cyanuric acid, or CYA, which should be between 30 and 50 parts per million, or around 80 parts per million for a saltwater pool and calcium hardness, which should be between 175 and 225 parts per million for vinyl liners or fiberglass pools, or between 200 and 275 parts per million for concrete or plaster pools. All right, so what kind of chemicals do you need to add to your pool? You'll wanna have the following chemicals on hand. Alkalinity increaser, or baking soda. pH increaser, or soda ash. pH decreaser, or muriatic acid chlorine pucks, chlorine granules, or the sanitizer of your choice, cyanuric acid, also known as CYA or chlorine stabilizer, pool shock, and calcium harness increaser. And be sure to have protective gear like gloves and goggles. All right, it's time to start adding chemicals. Be sure to wait at least 30 minutes after adding each chemical to let it circulate and dissipate. Then retest the water before adding your next chemical. Your pool pump and filter should be running while you're adding chemicals. Here's the order we recommend to adjust your water chemistry. First, adjust your total alkalinity. Alkalinity helps prevent fluctuations with pH. So adjusting your alkalinity first can help bring your pH into range. If you need to raise your alkalinity, you can use an alkalinity increaser or baking soda. If you need to lower your alkalinity, you can actually use pH decreaser or muriatic acid. Next, adjust your pH. You can lower your pH with a pH decreaser or muriatic acid. Or if you need to raise the pH, you can use a pH increaser or soda ash. After your alkalinity and pH, adjust your chlorine levels or whatever sanitizer you use. The pH helps your sanitizer work more effectively, which is why it's important to adjust your pH first. Add the chlorine or any other sanitizer at this point. If you're using chlorine pucks or tablets, keep in mind that it may take several hours for your levels to come into range. Next, adjust your cyanuric acid or CYA levels if needed. CYA helps stabilize your sanitizer. Remember that if you add a stabilized chlorine product to your water, like dichlor or trichlor tablets or granules, you've already added cyanuric acid your CYA levels may be fine at this point. Finally, adjust your calcium hardness levels. These levels do more damage in the long run, like eroding parts in your pool. So you don't need to adjust your calcium hardness right away before swimming. And if you drain and refill your pool each year, you don't need to worry about these levels as much. At this point, let your pool circulate all the chemicals in the water for an hour or two. Then retest your water one final time. Finally, if you need to add shock to your pool at any point, be sure to balance your other levels before shocking your water. Bringing your levels into range, especially your pH, will help your shock work more effectively. And if you need more help with pool maintenance, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com cheat sheet. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.